Hey everybody, it's Ryan. I am standing in the machine shed and I have Alex from Sloan Implement and a 326E standing right next to him. So, uh, how many horsepower is this, Alex? This is a 74 horse machine. Um, right before the level you have to go to death, so you won't have to run that. Cool. 2,750 pound lift, so it's quite a large machine. Yeah, and the current lift capacity on our Bobcat sits somewhere around 1850. Uh, Travis and I were debating that earlier, but he brought he brought a bale tines that we can use, as well as a bucket. The big thing that we want to use this for is we have been making that pasture grass out out at my place, and um, it's a lot easier to do when you have two skid steers. In the past, we've done it with two skid steers, and it's just a huge time saver because then you don't have to go back and forth with the bobcat and um, usually it's a one year one time a year deal so uh, if we can just get something here to help us out we get done so much faster and it's a lot a lot nicer and saves us a lot of time so 326e looking forward to using it um, I don't know if there's really anything else on the outside we need to know about it mm. What kind of motors do they put in these Yanmar. these days? What's that? A Yanmar. A Yanmar? Yeah, um, this one does have a reversing fan. Okay. Um, it's got a tri-cool system. It doesn't have any stacked coolers. It won't plug up as easy. And then it'll reverse okay. every half hour. It'll blow it back out the other way. So the stuff's less likely to get packed into the coolers. Okay. Well, that's happens out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's new. I haven't seen that on a skid loader yet. Oof. Does this got a suspended seat on it? Yep, it's an air seat. Cool. Got a radio over here. Menu that you can cycle through. Shows a variety of different information. This is basically a new machine, three and a half hours on it. Um, it's got quick touch on it. We got our lights here. Uh, what's the fan button do? That's a reversing fan, either on, okay. off, or auto. Okay. Air conditioning, park. Two seat controls. Yep, foot okay. controls. Triggers. Beep. Horn. Looks like dad's back. So, like I said, we will be using this to move bales, and um, it's really gonna help us get things done sooner, so. this thing we're gonna start moving stuff around Travis is hooking the 7600 up to the baler we're gonna take this out to the pasture uh, Dan and I are gonna take the Bobcat down to Travis's place and then we're gonna try hauling the bales from the pasture from the pasture out here down to Travis's place 
uh, because that's where they're going to be stored, I think. Um, but that's that might change. So, anyway, yeah, Dad will probably handle this thing. I know he's kind of excited to run it, so I'm going to go help him move some of the stuff around. They choose to beat on the bale. I mean, really? Come on. Oh, yep, caught them. Mid act. They're out of here. tell people that we have hills they expect to see you know some nice flat terrain and then followed by a straight uphill basically a cliff well that's really not how our farms are um, in the past I've said that this farm is probably has some of our steeper hills uh, that we actually try to farm the thing is if you look down there below that tree line up here, yeah, it's nice and flat, kind of slopes down a little bit, but right behind those trees, it drops right off. So, you got to be worried about bales rolling away because if they get down there, you may not be getting them back. All right, I've got eight bales loaded on the back, and I have to get over there. So, I'm going to show you guys why I'm not wearing my seatbelt. This is always fun. So I've got the truck in four low and I just put it into first gear. I'm waiting for dad because he's gotta be right behind me for this. There he is. Shifting it up to drive. And this is where I started stuttering last time. Yep. And this is where I started rolling back last time. Dad's back there pushing me up the hill. If I can make it. This is 
why I don't wear my seatbelt. Because if the truck goes, I don't want to go with it. Believe me, I'm much more willing to take my chances outside the truck than I am in it. There's only two bales left. He's going back to get the other one. I'm going to head to Rockville, pick up Travis, and then we're going to go dump these bales off down at his place. Then we're going to come back out, pick these two bales up, and take them out to my place. Just because it's closer, it's not really worth the longer trip. So today they came and picked up the John Deere skid loader. I'm just getting home now, but it was really handy having another skid loader there so that it saved us a lot of time to haul in. Uh, luckily, actually the first year we hauled out of the pasture here, um, we rented a Bobcat and I can't remember what we used last year. It might have been a John Deere too, but this year we used the John Deere from Sloan's and dad said he really liked it. I didn't get a whole lot of time in the cab because I was running the truck, um, but Dad said it was pretty nice to have one that had air, so that he didn't have the window have to have the windows open, get covered in hay, and um, it was it had plenty of power. Uh, it wasn't front end heavy like the one we have now. Uh, it had another thousand pounds on our Bobcat that we have right now, but I've said in the past. I think that each of our farms do need a skid loader, and I def definitely see them coming down the pipeline. In the past, we had the 7400 with the loader on it, and that worked pretty well for getting around all the farms with a loader rather than just having a skid loader on each farm. Um, what we're going to go with in the future, whether it be a tractor with a loader or trying to get a skid loader on each farm, I don't really know yet. Um, but we definitely need to figure something out because each year that we've done the pasture out here, we've always rented a skid loader so that way it'd save us time rather than having to run back and forth from each um, from the pasture to the farm and it's really just not feasible to do that so um, in the future I definitely see us getting another skid loader at least one uh, I don't know when definitely not this year especially after we bought the gator but in years to come um, it's definitely going to be coming down the pipeline so anyway, I just thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about the skid loader. And um, like I said, dad really, really liked it. Um, and it handled the bells, bales pretty well, he said. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And I'll see you next time.